Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today's beer is, uh, I assume, a craft beer. I, I don't know. We'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, but it's not Japanese. It's from Belgium. And it's from a, uh, a brewery I've never heard of. In fact, I don't think anybody has heard of. Uh, and I'll talk about that, too. Uh, this beer is called, I assume the pronunciation is Turbo, and it's called Turbo the Hopper. IPA. On the label here, it just simply says IPA. So, now, this is listed as an IPA Belgian style or Saison style IPA, and it's brewed, uh, it says not by, but for Turbo Rock Brewing Company. And the rock, what does the rock mean? Well, Apparently, this was created by a Belgian rock singer, heavy metal singer, named Frankie Desmet Van Damme. And I'll uh, try to put a picture of him up here. And I guess he has created some other beers uh, for this label, too, as well. And I'm not sure what Turbo means or stands for here. But uh, Van Damme apparently is the front man of a heavy metal band called Channel Zero in Belgium, and uh, I have never heard of them, and I don't know if I will even hear them, but I might give them a listen and see. Uh, but he has apparently created this beer, and the brewery is not mentioned anywhere on the can. Uh, if you go look uh, online for it, uh, I found some sites which had a link to the official brewery site, and it went to Grimbergen, which is a Belgian brewery, but then clicking on the link, it was a bad link. Uh, uh, on Rate Beer, one person wrote a long diatribe about this beer, uh, and the, the uh, Belgian singer who developed it and basically said he should probably stick to heavy metal instead. And he suggested that it's probably brewed by Beer Select, which is a Belgian contract brewer in Ghent. And on their website, you can see, uh, uh, take a look. Apparently, they brew a lot of, uh, do a lot of contract brewing, and maybe for them, maybe for this one. But it's not really uh, evident at all where this beer was brewed. Um, and so this beer was 438 yen, and that would be 2.8. Uh, two dollars ninety three cents and two point six eight uh, uh, euros if you're counting in euros on rate beer uh, rate beer this one has only thirteen ratings the average is three point one eight out of five mm -mm -mm. and thirty seven percentile for all beers on rate beer and only twelve percentile for its style IPA Belgian saison. Untapped, 2,191 ratings, and the average is higher, as it tends to be on untapped, 3.35 uh, out of 5. So, um, uh, on the website for this beer, they said it's a Belgian IPA with American DNA. So, I'm not sure if they're doing some sort of gene editing here or what, but uh, let's give this one a try, shall we? Turbo, the hopper IBA, uh, IPA. 6.5%, uh, no information on international bittering units. So I, I, I really, you know, I want a brewery to tell me a little bit about the beer on their website or somewhere, you know? Uh, but a lot of brewers don't. Maybe they don't even know or don't even care. I don't know. Um, you can see the label art here, of course, does have a rather heavy metal-ish sort of look. Very friendly dragon. Looks like he has a hole in his wing. That's too bad. Okay. All right. So uh, this is a rather slightly cloudy sort of pastel yellow with about a half a finger of sort of frothy, fat bubbled head. Um, you can see the carbonation rising there. Okay. Aroma. Mmm, what do we got? Some citrus. It smells like extract malt, actually, to me. 
light maltiness, graininess. Citrus is the primary note. Okay, citrus. And more citrus. Maybe some stone fruit in the background. But it basically tastes like uh, light orange juice cut with uh, apple juice. I don't catch any Belgian aspect to this whatsoever. Usually a Belgian IPA has a distinct sort of uh, Belgian yeast characteristic and this does not. Mm. Channel Zero. Where does that name come from? Why would you name your band Channel Zero? It doesn't sound very heavy metalish, not like Megadeth or Anthrax or 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 anything like that. Hmm. Okay, so the aroma again is mild. It's citrus. Uh, not much else. Flavor pretty much the same. you can find this where you live. Uh, I'm kind of sorry I found it where I live, but in any case, uh, you may want to give this a try if you happen to see it in your local supermarket or <clears throat> liquor store chain. Again, it's called Turbo the Hopper IPA uh, from Turbo Rock Brewing Company. And I assume the rock means music, but we don't know. 6.5% IPA, uh, which doesn't really seem like much of an IPA. So give it a go if you want to. I don't recommend it very highly. That's it for today. Please do take care. Bye-bye.